Hey guys, welcome back to Survivor the Nights. I haven't had this video or this game on my channel for a long time, but as I've been reading, it looks like it's getting really close to releasing in the backer alpha, which is all for all the backers who have um, kind of decided to back the project since it started on their Kickstarter and whatnot, pre-ordered the game. It'll be coming out soon for them, and then it'll be coming out in early access after that, from what I've heard. I'm just showing you a few pictures of uh, some of the screenshots that they did of the game on their pre-alpha footage, it actually looks really, really, really good. Hopefully this is going to be the survival game to play coming this year. Like, I think it's going to be amazing. They've been bringing out heaps of new content through it, showing us all the new stuff they've been doing, like collectible items, pickable items and such. You'll see here there's going to be a few pictures of um, really nice landscapes again, like a beautiful sunset over their bay. Then you're going to see some kind of some fan art, some fan art that people have done or some concept art of items that might be coming into the game. Some really cool ideas that some people are coming up with. I had one myself I'll talk about after. The first one here is a theatre. This is community concept. It looks pretty cool. It looks really nice and they would have like some cool, you'd be able to board that off and live in a theatre. That'd be really, really awesome. The next one that we're going to be showing is... The... Uh the firecracker trap so basically you put a, uh, a wire across the door pulls a firecracker lets you know that something's coming through the door and it lets you know about the whole you know you're gonna be f you're gonna be screwed soon so better watch out the next one is it's like spring water I have no idea what this is, is maybe a filtration system oh, that's a bottle grenade shit it's a um, pretty cool bottle grenade that looks really really cool it's all you know back back house made the next item is a mouse trap light. So someone, so basically, they pull the the string, activates the uh, mouse trap, hits and breaks the the, um, the glow stick, and lights the place up. Here we have the hospital. It looks pretty nice. It'd be awesome to live in this place. It reminds me a bit of um, The Walking Dead. Then we've got a treehouse concept art. Pretty cool idea. Be good to have. I don't think they're allowing any buildings unless this is, this is like a place that's already up in trees and you can go take it over just as like a little camp. Be a really cool idea, I think. And the second to last one is... The typical kind of cans hanging from a roof to you know, let you know that there's zombies coming through or people coming through to make the noise and warn you so you can prepare to defend because I guarantee you there's going to be a lot to defend from. And the final one here is the prison. If someone can get hold of this prison and board this up, it is going to be amazing. Like, imagine the place and just how cool it would be to block it off. Like, season, I think it was season three of The Walking Dead, how they had the prison and that, and they had people were coming to attack. Like, how cool would that be to do? It's amazing. They've even got pictures of a, a dark road down to a school. It looks amazing. You probably see it on the screen right now. It's so good. Like... This game has got me hyped, and yes people, I know it's been in development for a while, but these guys are really working hard on trying to get a good game before they release it. They are only a small group, so you got to give them a bit of slack. They did have a deadline at one point, but they can't help that the deadline can't be met sometimes with, you know, there could be anything that comes up. And recently they just stated that their CPU died while, um, while working on their game, so they had to, they, they wasted about a week trying to repair that. But they're straight back on the track and they're working hard. They're trying to get right back in to get the game out as soon as possible for us. So if you keep an eye out in the next couple of weeks, look in your emails and that, the backers are going to hopefully be notified from what I've heard. And uh, we might be able to play the game soon. If, if so, I hope I get to see you guys in game and I'll see you guys in the video either way. So hope you guys enjoy this. It's just a quick kind of update, just a bit, you know, showing what's going on right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Survive the Nights video. Until then, stay awesome. Catch you later.